Alrighty, amateur artist Mark D. Chandler here at Manland, about to try an experiment on something that I saw using this Miller Lite beer bottle. Yes, if you're in a survival situation, they say that you can purify water inside a glass bottle for drinking. And I'm about to find out if that theory holds true. Can you indeed boil water inside a glass bottle without the bottle busting? Let's find out. Here I have my hobo stove set up. It's not complete yet, but I'm able to get a fire in there and get things going. Now inside this beer bottle is pond water. Now I'm not going to drink this thing if it actually works. I just want to see if it's possible to boil water inside this bottle without it rupturing. Okay? And when I do this, I'm only going to add fuel when I need to. I'm going to stay away from it. I'm going to film the entire process. So this particular video will speed up. And I'm sorry that it's not a close-up shot. I'm not going to get anywhere near this. So right now, I do have a fire going. Well, actually, it's back down to coals. And I'm going to add some more wood to it. Get that back up. And then I'm going to feed the fire into this can long enough to boil this water in that beer bottle. I don't know if this is going to work or not. It did on the YouTube channel that I watched and I'm pretty sure that the guy had no reason to uh, lie about it. But uh, I'm just curious. I don't believe anything unless I try it myself. Because you know that you can believe everything you see on the internet, right? Yeah. That's being sarcastic for those of you who don't realize. Okie dokie. Almost there. I'm going to blow this thing back into life. Get ready to see what happens. Go ahead and add enough fuel to it. Now, beer bottle full of pond water. Water level's right about there. Getting it directly in the middle of that. Let's see if this thing busts. I'm moving out of the way. Normally I would be doing this through the porthole, the feeding hole, but I'm really scared this thing is going to rupture. So if I burn myself, and hot scalding water and shards of glass traveling 100 miles an hour. I want to stay away from it. I'll let that burn down in there. Of course, now the idea here is you may have to do this in on just hot coals and not a direct flame to keep it from rupturing. I'm not sure. Either way, I just don't think this is going to work. That's the thing about this hobo stove I noticed. You really have to keep feeding this thing fuel with this dry wood. You ain't going to believe this, but right now, it has been just a few minutes and the water has already started rising to the top of this bottle like it's getting ready to boil. Now, I may have actually overfilled this thing. And I'm using my camera, my, my, my cell phone, rather, to get this shot. And I really don't want to get close to that thing because, like I say, the bottle may rupture. So I'm being a, I'm being a, a wimp about this. My first time doing it. And it looks like the water's actually got movement in it now. Look at it. You see that? The water's coming up and it's actually starting to boil. I'm just going to let it overflow. I'm not going to grab that thing. But now you can see water coming out. And I would say that that is actually boiling.
That's actually boring now. Well, ain't that something? Wow. Yeah. I suppose that the water is actually cooling the glass down and keeping it from rupturing because if you threw a, basically an empty bottle into a fire and it was hot enough the bottle would explode. The glass would just break up and go pow. We've had one blow out and as a matter of fact that fire pit there and it blow out and the shards and stuff went back toward the pond area. That's the pond right there by the way. And uh, it just ruptured. Uh, there were some pieces broken over here that we found earlier today. Uh, we did this project here about two weeks ago. I'm just throwing a bottle into the fire and we, well, we know that it eats it up. But that right there actually did boil the water. It is still boiling. Can you see? Yes. Well, we successfully boiled water in a beer bottle on a hobo stove. And uh, I'm basically, there's some critters moving in the bushes over here. I'm going to actually let this thing go out before I do anything further to it. Uh, but I'm not going to drink it. I guarantee you that. That's pond water. And I'm not in a survival situation just yet. But it's just something good to know. Hey, it works. So he did the right thing.